We believe the greater the transparency, the greater the public trust. Columbus police are getting new body worn cameras that have new features, including a much longer look back function. Tonight, 10 TV's Lacey Crisp is live at Columbus police headquarters to outline the changes. Lacey. By next spring, every Columbus police officer will get a brand new body worn camera. Now, the push for the new technology came after Andre Hill's death in December 2020. This is an essential component to policing reform trust and transparency. Introducing new body worn cameras for the Columbus Division of Police, Mayor Andrew Ginther says the footage is important to hold officers accountable and to also show when they have saved lives. But it also has illuminated moments of tremendous bravery and heroism. Like when our officers and sheriff's deputies from the county exchanged fire with an active shooter on I-270 last March. Ginther pushed for the $19 million upgrade after a former CPD officer shot and killed Andre Hill on Oberlin Drive on December 22nd, 2020. Officer Adam Coy did not activate his body worn camera until after the shooting. At the time, there was only a one minute look back function with no audio. The new cameras will have a two minute look back function with audio. While officers can still operate and activate body worn cameras manually, the Axon 3 offers automatic activation. This will improve the likelihood that video evidence is captured. The cameras are connected to the police cruisers and will automatically turn on when the officer turns on lights and sirens, speeds up suddenly, or if the cruiser is involved in an accident. The city is also testing a small number of gun holsters that will turn on the camera if the officer's gun is removed from the holster. The greater the transparency, the greater the public trust, which improves safety for both the public and the police. In addition to the body-worn cameras, there will also be 450 new in-car cameras that will all have license plate readers. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.